Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome back to my kitchen. I have been to Aldi this morning. Steve very kindly drove me because my back is playing up and we had Nathan with us. I didn't do a meal plan. I still have not got a meal plan for the week at the moment. And the reason for this is because we have a lot of fresh um, produce in the fridge the cupboards that need using up and then we have a lot of food in the freezers that I still need to work my way through but saying that I always go to another shop and then I'll find fantastic deals and offers and fill my freezer back up so that's the problem I've got plus tonight I'm picking up a couple of surprise bags and I want to use them to the to the best I can so um I'm going to base my meal plan around what I pick up tonight in those surprise bags and work from there on my meal plan. So when I went to Aldi, I had mainly just fresh stuff that I needed, like milk, fresh fruit and veggies, some yogurty bits and stuff like that. And just to have a little walk around to be truthful, to stretch my legs. Um, the reason I'm hurting so bad is because I very stupidly done all the ironing yesterday and it took me about three hours of standing and by the end of it I couldn't walk. I could not walk. Steve had to um, help me get in the bath and then help me get out and then into my pyjamas and everything but um, I've got my painkillers, I've got my heat patch on my back, we've been to Aldi, he's going to take me out later just to pick up the surprise bags. I'll record them for you, probably sitting down to be truthful, and they'll be out later in the week. But in Aldi, I don't know if I've already said, I spent eighty three twenty nine. Um, that was when we had Nathan with us, so he saw some sweeties, got them. Had Steve with me, so he saw some bits that he wanted. And I've got to get this recorded before Steve gets back with all the kids, because he very kindly has gone and picked up all the kids for me. So let's turn you around and show you what I got for my money today, shall we? Okay, here's a little overview of what we got. I mean, I know what I'm doing for dinner tonight. I managed to get a whole chicken in Lidl reduced yesterday. So we're having that with salad and new potatoes. And I'll probably boil up some eggs because I got them on offer and some other bits like the coleslaw and scotch eggs and whatnot so that's dinner tonight and then what i get tonight in the little not in the little in the surprise bags is i will work with and work out what we get for dinner for the rest of the week but let's get on and show you what i actually did get so far we completely ran out of milk which is unlike me so i picked up two four pints of blue milk for the family Completely ran out of white cheese, which again is unlike me. So I picked up one big block of that. I got a pack of two scotch eggs for Steve and Shane. They might go with their chicken tonight or they might go in Shane's pack lunches. These are for my friend. Her boy loves sour things and she asked me to keep an eye out for them. So I've picked them up for her. Five in a box, new toxic waste lollies. Same as whenever you see sour products, they are for her boys. So that is them. You get the blue raspberry with strawberry slime in. And then you get the sour lemon and lime with strawberry slime in. Um, don't really appeal to me, but probably to my kids they would as well. So we'll have to see if my kids want some of them. and have to get some another date. I managed to pick up four boxes of six of their eggs. They had 50% off and they had five boxes of eggs so i picked up four they will be gone by the end of this week i mean like gone with shane a nice pudding for three of my kids we got the jelly and custard three individual pots my kids love jelly my kids love custard so let's give them the traditional jelly and custard pudding nathan will have a nesquik chocolate sandwich slice thing from the fridge because he won't touch the jelly or the custard. Um, two packets of wonky raspberries, because we are loving our fresh fruit. Four ready-to-eat classic pork pies. 
for either for today or pet lunches. Um, it was cheaper to buy a big punnet of 600 grams strawberries um, than buying their two smaller packets of one, uh, just essential strawberries. So I picked them up and I will need more strawberries throughout the week because Nathan will eat these by Wednesday. They'll be gone. Coleslaw for Steve for his lunch tomorrow and his dinner tonight. Something that is new and I'm thinking my kids will like this. Italian crackers with 6% extra virgin olive oil. And I'm thinking Nathan would like them with just as they are. Chloe might like them with some Dairy Leon and they can experiment with them. Uh, at the back I got some more pretzels for Chloe because she did like them. The individual packets, there's six in there. I got the sour cream and chive pretzels and then I got her the salted pretzels as well. Saves me doing a job of buying a big bag and then separating them out and it didn't work out any cheaper me buying them like this to buying a big bag and decanting them myself. Um, we've got a crispy leaf salad for dinner tonight. New potatoes for dinner tonight. Yes, I have three big sacks in my shed, but we wanted some new potatoes to go with salad. We have a mixed leaf salad for the tortoises and the guinea pigs. Um, sadly, on Thursday, on Hayley's birthday, Chloe went out to the guinea pigs to see to them and um, the two in the upper hutch had sadly passed and I heard her screaming, I've gone running out there and they had passed, we don't know why, it was just those two in the top hutch, the other four in the bottom hutch, completely and utterly fine and it had happened recently, there was no cats or nothing near them but sadly we are now down to four guinea pigs so... She's a bit heartbroken, so the um, guinea pigs that we do have are getting well and truly spoiled. She's letting them run around her bedroom, lots of leafy greens and cuddles and all that lot. So that is for, yeah, so I just thought I'd let you know. We have the animals, our total of animals have decreased a little bit. And that's not exactly a, a nice way to end Hayley's birthday, I'm afraid. But they weren't even very old either, to be truthful. Three... But, you know, she's still got munchy, which helped her get through it. Um, new products. Sorry, back onto the haul. Um, snacking meatballs. Seven grams of protein per serving. These ones are medium heat. Okay. Then they had these ones, which are snacking meatballs. Eight percent per serving. They did have another three different types of meatball of some sort. But they had none that were in date. I had Steve check this with me. Um, they were all saying the 18th of April. And we have gone past that. It does, didn't say the 18th of May. And it wasn't 18th of April 2025. There was a whole box on the shelf in Aldi of meatballs that were 18th of April. So... Um, when we went to the checkout, we told the lady and um, she went and buzzed a member of management to go and get them off the shelf before someone actually bought them and ended up with food poisoning because a few days is okay if they're all right, but it's near on a week past it, you know. Um, <laughs> sorry about that again. Off track. We have Sweet Freedom Vanilla Syrup for coffees and drizzling. That one. And then I got this one, which is Sweet Freedom Hazelnut Syrup. For coffees and drizzling. These are what I'm thinking of substituting as well as the agave syrup that I got at an earlier date. Um, just trying different alternatives to sweeten my um, overnight oats and baked stuff and stuff like that rather than using sugar. So I'm just trying different things and these are different flavours and all that lot. So just experimenting. I've shown you that. Um, courgettes. Two of them, again, for the tortoises, because they've not had cores yet before, um, the guinea pigs, and then I'm going to make my um, hidden veg 
red sauce again and one it i stick a courgette in there as well because it's good for them we have some cheesios which are like aldi's version of cheetos i think we get six individual packs here we've got the fiery hot and then the sizzling steak i thought these would be good for the kids to try and my kids love all things spicy like crisp wise so chances are they're all going to fight over these so <laughs> there's, there's six packets so that is the four kids can have one packet each and steve can have two because i won't eat them don't like them uh -uh. uh we have a cucumber for salads a whole lot of bananas because nathan is on a banana kick i'm having a banana each morning for a fruit salad and he's eating my banana as well so that is them I got three boxes of lasagna sheets because I didn't realise I was going to use the last of my lasagna sheet boxes from my pantry when I'd done lasagna last week. So I needed three more to replace and then start building up my stock of them as well. Um, the chocolate protein yoghurt or pudding that I got from Aldi um, previously, it was very nice but it was very, very heavy. And um, I, it's a big old pot and I couldn't eat it all. So I ended up sharing it with Steve because I tried leaving half it untouched and putting it back in the fridge, clean filmed up, but then it went watery and runny. So it wasn't nice. So what I've got now is a chocolate flavored mousse to try. Hopefully it won't be so dense. If it is, then again, me and Steve will have to share a pot. But it did crave my chocolate craving after dinner. Did that? It satisfied my chocolate craving after dinner. There we go. Didn't sort Steve's out, but it helped with mine. Um, a new flavour of Prime has come out. So I've picked up for Hayley, strawberry and banana. That sounds absolutely repulsive in my book. But I got it for her nonetheless. Two, sorry, let's have a rearrange here because I've moved everything around. Two jars of chicken paste. Hayley likes this in sandwiches and she has got to start having packed lunches again because I can't keep affording school dinners. Um, she's been having school dinners lately because the little Moo has been very naughty at school. We A couple of weeks ago, we were sending her since Christmas with packed lunches. And she was coming home with them or either eating them in the car or, or attacking it as soon as she got in the door. And we started thinking she was getting bullied at school because she was just coming up of every excuse. No, I'm not hungry. No, I didn't have enough time. So we kept contacting the school, speaking to her teacher. And they said, no, she's eating. She's eating all her lunch. She's clearing her plate. And I'm like, her plate? That's... She's meant to have packed lunch, not school dinners. So <laughs> her teacher followed her down to the lunch hall one day, knowing full well that she bought a packed lunch, signed off on the register that she had had packed lunch, and then got in the school dinner queue. Yeah. So her teacher caught her red-handed eating a school dinner. I couldn't believe it. And um, because of Hayley with her autism, she has no concept of time. So she couldn't tell us how long she had been doing this. So um, me and Steve have made a donation to the school to um, compensate. But we don't know how long she's been doing this for. So um, naughty, naughty Hayley. So now at the moment she's had school dinners, but we are made an agreement. She can have school dinners two days a week and pat lunches three days a week of her choice. But she has to eat her pat lunches. And she has requested chicken paste in her lunch. So, again, off track. Sorry about that. But I thought that would make you giggle. Um, tortellini. My friends rave about this stuff, so I wanted to try it for myself. I got the fresh chicken and bacon tortellini. I have no idea what I serve it with, but I've got it. And then the long shelf stuff, the three cheese one to try. Cooks in six minutes and that one cooks in five minutes. So I'm going to have to Google something and figure out what to do with that lot. Um, gnocchi. I've tried this once before with my family. They didn't like it. 
maybe I didn't cook it right or what but I've got three more packets I'm going to try a different recipe different way of cooking it and hopefully they will like it because it is quite good for them and then if they do like it I might try making it from scratch never know uh, a pack of cherry tomatoes and a pack of baby plum tomatoes because I like to snack on them some healthier crisp like packets for Nathan <laughs> didn't know what else to say it's just eat or, or sorry eat real get it right Hannah and we got the sun-dried tomato and roasted garlic flavoured quinoa chips sour cream and chive flavoured hummus chips and then salted lentil chips we will see if he likes them same as we got the veggie straws with tomato kale and spinach we will see if he likes them. I mean, if I can get the others to try them as well, that would be a bonus because they're healthier than crisps, you know. And then talking about healthiness and then we go on to the crappy stuff or the not so healthy stuff. My usual baked beans because they will not eat any other type of baked bean. Steve put some coffee in there, the little coffee sachets to go to work with because he is a run off his feet at the moment at work. Hasn't got time to make proper cups of coffee, so he's just going to knock them out. Um, I haven't seen these in Aldi before. I know they do Titans, I know they do Jives, and I know they do Racers, and their own version of Milky Ways. But I've never seen Raw, and um, it's a bag. You get 13 little individual wrapped bars, and they're like lion bars. How cool is that? I don't know if they're new, but my kids like a lion bar. Steve likes lion bars. And they're only small. So, um, he said he's going to give them a go. So, if you do like lion bars, go check them out. Let me know first if, if I'm old, if they're old and I'm late to the club, okay? Or if they are actually new. Because I would like to know. Um, then I think I have found some new things. Some seasoning sachets, because... Everyone knows I like a good seasoning sachet. Need to start using my supply of them up to be truthful. Um, but they're Maggie. Pan Perfect Sticky Korean Beef. Let's turn it so you can see it. Ready in 15 minutes. All you need to do is add chicken. And to make it a balanced meal, whole grain rice and vegetables. I got two of them. Uh, I think I've bought the butter chicken before, but I couldn't remember. And neither could Steve. And it's butter chicken, cook in a bag. All you need to do is add chicken and vegetables. I've got two of them. Then we have here a new one, pan perfect sweet teriyaki. Again, I don't know if I said that right. All you have to do is add chicken and then you can serve it with rice and noodles. And then down here, barbecue, sweet, sweet and sticky barbecue, cooks in a bag, so no mess. And then they've done like an air fryer range as well. They had this one and then a fajita stir fry mix, uh, air fry mix. But what's the difference between this one and then just a bog standard fajita mix? Nothing. All you have to do is add this seasoning onto your required amounts in the air fryer. And this was more expensive than Aldi's version of a fajita mix. But this, you need to just add peppers, chicken... And a shishwam, shishwami, I can't pronounce it. Serves four, but I bought two of them, so they should do my family. I need some inspiration to get back out in the kitchen. Get off my arse and start cooking a bit more. Um, chew it. Get four packets in a multi-pack. So I have four kids. I've got the fruit salad and the strawberry. They will go in the treat cupboard for when they're good kids. <laughs> Um, knoppers, don't know if I spelt that, said that right, knoppers, knoppers, whatever, peanut butter bar, I thought Chloe would like these, she normally likes the actual sandwich ones, they didn't have them that I could see, but they had the bars, so I picked up them, um, squashies, I love squashies, right, but I have to have all the varieties at one time in a bowl, so like a pick a mix kind of thing. And what set me off is I saw this one. Strawberries and cream. Oh yeah, they sound good. So, they're going to go in my cupboard. 
I managed to get the other three flavours from there, but there's a bubble gum one that I didn't get. So I'm not touching these until I can open them all up. Then they'll go in a jar and then I can mix them all up and then have them as and when as a little sweet treat. Rhubarb and custard. Sour cherry and apple. And then you have the drumstick flavour. I know you can get a minion blueberry and banana. Not too keen on that. So I won't be hunting for that one. Nathan wanted some Wendy worms. He likes his sour stuff. Um, Scotch pancakes. He's loving them in the mornings. Three, sometimes six Scotch pancakes with fruit and a little bit of Nutella on. He, you know, he does his nut. He's, he's extended his breakfast. Now he will either have the chocolate filled crepes, chocolate chip brioches, these or toast for breakfast so we're getting there he's extending his variety for breakfast so i could make them i will make them but at the moment it's scotch pancakes and um, we have some kefir yogurt don't know if i said that right um everyone's raving about this on youtube so i thought i'd give it a go i got the natural the strawberry and the passion fruit and mango with papaya and it's meant to be really good for you high in protein yogurt with billions of live cultures which can add uh, a healthy digestion environment boost your immune system there we go so i've got all three of them to use up and then two bags of grated mozzarella one is going in the freezer one is going in the fridge because um it's been quite hard to find this stuff lately, so I wanted to pick it up while I could so that I've got it for when I need to make pizzas again, which my kids are asking for. So we will see if they come this week or within the next couple of weeks. So that is everything we got from Aldi today. There we go. Thumbs up if you like this video, please. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really would love to have you part of my YouTube family. I want to thank you all for being here so much. It really does mean a lot to me. I've got to get this lot put away before Nathan comes in the door and eats all those strawberries and raspberries. And before my friend's lollies melts as well. So, take care and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.